What's up everybody? Guess what we're gonna do today? We are gonna get this sucker back on the water. It's been all winter. We haven't had a chance to take this thing out for a long time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this cover off. Look at all this mold on here. We got tires that are flat, batteries got issues. We're gonna go through it all. Stay with me on this episode. I can tell you one thing. This boat cover arrangement that we have right here, total bad idea. Let me tell you why. So as I showed a little bit earlier in the intro, Look at this, what is that, mold, mildew? Oh, disgusting. Whew, I tell you what, if you got sensitivities to mold or any kind of allergies to mildew, now's not the time to have that. Let's undo this. I can tell you right now, I can already start to see some mold underneath. It's not looking pretty. So, without further ado, I'm gonna pull this cover off and let's take a look on the inside. It's pretty gross. All right, so, got the cover off. One thing to note, and if you haven't seen this before in my prior episodes, I'm not sure if I've done a video on this or not, but I made this little device out of PVC pipe. If you're curious or want to see how I built this, well, let me know. Throw some comments in the comments field below, and I will show you my recommendation for making one of these. There's a few little things, so let me know. Let's get this thing out of the way, though. All right. Let's take a look here. So... Definitely got some mold and mildew on the captain chairs. Our little hand grip over there has got some mold on it. Just some regular old mold around here. Let's take a look at these seats. A little bit along the edges, nothing crazy. Let's take a look underneath here. Let's see how the carpet looks, not bad. Water build up under there. We're gonna go ahead and hit everything with some shampoo. Probably do the carpets, look down here. Yeah, we got mildew for me. You can see it pretty good on the camera and along the edges. All right. Wish me luck. Ooh, geez. Okay. Let's get a battery tender on this thing and see what it looks like. All right. Take a look at this. It's a little battery charger. Got this sucker from Harbor Freight. What you want to do, especially before, I know you're going to be super engaged in wanting to jump right in the water right you know take the sucker in go wakeboarding the whole nine yards make sure your battery's good first this battery interstate you saw it from my prior episodes when we were rebuilding this held out pretty good currently running at 14.3 it's doing a little bit of a charge but i'd say this sucker's almost good let me show you some more mold here it's pretty gross all right look at this this is all mold i tell you what pretty pretty terrible we'll go over ways to get rid of that and look at this marine grade plywood is that not a petri dish if you've never seen one before oh my god that is terrible yeah we're gonna have to work on cleaning that up too so anyway let's go ahead get some of these items out of here like the life vest we'll check the oil go through everything get this sucker ready to start all right guys so Got this little mini i call it a little mini rug doctor but it's a carpet cleaner especially for like areas down in here take a look lots of black mold in here you could use a sponge and whatnot but i've got some looks like tough cleaning wool light oxy deep cleaner we're going to use that and hopefully get a lot of this mold out it's kind of a smaller area in here to clean so it's not a big deal to get a bigger boat may need to get a bigger one of these but that's what we're going to do we also have some other treatment that I'm going to do back here. Probably spray, uh, spray this with some bleach and hopefully we can kill that mold. Stay tuned. We're going to hit it with some bleach real quick. This whole marine grade plywood underneath here, total petri dish. Here we go. Hopefully all those OCD users that see this don't see that I missed the spot. What do you think? Did I do a good job? All right, let's spray, spray a little bit down here. We'll let that soak for a little bit and we'll get the shampoo in the front. All right, got the bucket filled up. All right, let's go ahead and hit this sucker with the sponge now. Josh, ready? All right. You can see here that this mold is really, really on here. You gotta get something with some good texture on it. All 
right. Okay, so you can see a little bit of mold growing in around the edges. I know what you're thinking. I missed a spot. Clean it. All right, guys, come take a look at this. We got this carpet nice and clean. I use this, uh, this little guy here, and look at that color of that water. Ooh, nasty, right? We're gonna go ahead, switch to the back of the boat, and we'll finish this thing up. Gotta get this carpet clean. Whew, I tell you what, look at this here. Not my hand, but look at all these cushions. We are gonna let each one of these dry. Yeah, all right. So, let's get all this mold out of here. Especially if you gotta work on this motor, which we're gonna do another episode here where we help get this thing a tune up. And I can tell you one thing, probably don't wanna have to work around all this mold here. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up real nice. So tomorrow, we'll go ahead and give this up for a tune up. Start it up. Anyone wanna take any bets whether or not this is gonna start the first time around? I bet it will. You wouldn't believe this. There is a lot of mold behind this seat. It's so bad, hit it with some bleach. I'm gonna hit it with the sprayer next because it's terrible. Take a look. All right, guys. You can literally see it growing all over the place here. So we're gonna go ahead and just hose it down. Tell you what, let's go ahead and do a once off all the way underneath here, go along the walls. I'm just gonna assume that we need to once off just about everything in here. All right, so I'm also, since I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off any kind of excess water that may have gotten in here, especially around where the distributor is. Loves to build up in there and cause all kinds of rust issues. So I'll go ahead and get everything nice and clean, and then we will get ready to clean the outside of this boat and be that much closer towards the end. Whew, I'll tell you what, a lot of work cleaning off all this mold on the side of this boat. It is nasty. But I'll tell you what, with a little persistence, you can clean this whole thing off which looks like we're pretty much done at this point. Take a look at this side. I feel like I did a pretty good job. What do you think? All right, so before you consider taking your boat out on the water, number one, you wanna make sure that the trailer is safe. So check the pressure of the tire. The reading should be on the side here. The other thing too that you wanna make sure as you're going into the season, there should be, in most cases, a greasable, Zerks right here that you can grease. Pop this cap off and grease it. It'll help save your wheel bearing. Okay, so with this type of grease point, this is actually spring loaded, kind of neat. So it actually keeps the grease in the wheel bearing. I'm gonna go ahead and grease it to the point where the springs are completely compressed. This wheel bearing takes a lot more grease than I'm used to. And you can see here some of the old grease that was in there. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. But this one, the spring is completely compressed. It makes it easy to figure out how much grease was needed in here. And this one actually took quite a lot. I'd probably say almost like five or six pumps, but you can see we're good to go. Let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, so take a look at this one. You can see the springs are completely loose. So this, this sucker needs a lot of grease on it. So there's one, two, three, four, you can see as we're putting more grease in there that those springs are starting to compress. And like I said, this is probably one of the higher end um, hubs that I've seen where it holds grease like this. Not a lot of them do this, so you can't actually uh, gauge it like this and you'll have to listen. But you can see this one is completely good to go. I like this. Let's move on to the gimbal bearing. If you hear any popping noises, definitely stop. It's already full at that point. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and let this thing dry out. We got pretty much all the mold that we're gonna get off of the boat. Next episode, we're gonna go ahead, jump in here, and get this thing started. Stay tuned to the next episode. We'll see you then.